Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play series for Slay the Spire. Now, this game's been out for a little bit. It's actually, I think, still technically an early release, but, I mean, it's been a pretty playable game for quite a while now. Uh, I played it a lot when, um, I think I first, it first came out in early release, um, like, se you know, several months back, or maybe, maybe been up to a year now, so I don't remember when I first started playing it. Um, uh, played it quite a while, uh, quite a bit, um... But uh, I haven't really played much since they added a whole lot of new stuff. They added a third um, playable character that you can unlock. They added the Ascension modes. I haven't played since they added the Ascension modes, if that tells you how far back it's been since I actually played. Um, as well as the, uh, the little key things that you can get to, to, to kind of unlock the, the fourth uh, tier or whatever, the fourth level. So, uh, plus the, uh, I guess the daily, um, the daily climbs or whatever they're called. So, there's a lot of stuff that they've added um, since I last played. So, I I'm familiar with the game. But I'm not, like, there's a lot of things I haven't unlocked or anything like that. Um, I went ahead and just created a brand new, you know, save. Just because the other ones, I hadn't gone very far anyway. So, because I think even the save stuff they had added. Like, I was only 20% through. It said I only had played for about four hours. And I've played way over four hours. So, uh, I think even the save stuff was something kind of relatively new when I first was playing it. So, I figured I'd jump back into it. You know, it's obviously a fairly popular game. And, you know, just kind of play around with it. So, we'll see what happens. Um, which obviously we don't have anything unlocked. We're just gonna go ahead and jump in here, play as the Ironclad, and uh, see how things go. And if you're not familiar with this game, it's basically a kind of like a dungeon crawl mixed with a card builder game or a deck builder game, I should say, because you basically start with a very small deck and then you build cards to it, add cards to it. Um, sometimes you can take cards away, uh, but you have a character here that uh, you can get little potions to help, you know, help them out or. Uh, little relics and things like that to help them out as well. So you get stronger as the game progresses, but also, you know, the enemies basically get stronger as the game progresses. Um, we have a map here. And basically we have to determine what path we want to take through this to get to the final boss here. Uh, and then there's three acts, like I said, until we have unlocked, I think we have to play through all three characters or do something with them before we can come back through and do the key unlocks to, to unlock the fourth act. So we'll be able to do the fourth act for our first several playthroughs. Um, and like I said, I don't have any of the other extra card unlocks, you know, we're uh, as you play through the game, you get some experience points to unlock some some other things for your for your characters that way as well. Plus, if you're familiar with the game at all, you notice that we did not get a... There's a little whale guy that jumps up at the very beginning that starts talking to you. And he has the opportunity to give you some things if you've played through the game and beaten it. You get a, kind of an advantage for the next playthrough. This is our first playthrough on this a save, so we don't even have him available. Anyway, um, I think this over here with two shops is a little too aggressive this early. This one over here with the shop might be okay, and then based on how we're feeling health-wise, we can you know either go... We we'll probably actually will go campfire boss, because campfires you can heal or upgrade. Uh, bosses give you relics to um, make you stronger, and of course these chests right here also give you relics to make you stronger as well. We probably will go campfire boss, because I don't think there's any reason to go this direction. Because we could even go after that campfire again um, to get another upgrade. Yeah, I think I, think I like this path right through here. Over here, we'll go with this question mark over here on the side. This first few battles are going to be pretty easy. It's going to throw some of the tutorial stuff here, obviously. I don't need to go through those because they're they're pretty straightforward. Um, okay, these guys are going to curl up as soon as we hit them. Uh, I do want to just... We, we can heal up. That, okay, let me start off with this. The first relic we have as the uh, Ironclad is that at the end of combat, we heal 6 HP. So we could take up to 6 HP in this fight and effectively end the fight with uh, full health and be fine with that. So... That is something we may do. So actually, probably what I'm going to do it is block and I could bash you, but I'm probably just going to go ahead and trigger the curl ups for both these guys because the curl up actually gives them a little bit of a shield. And there's a good chance if we get three strikes, we can kill these two guys in this next turn. And if not, again, we still have a cushion of, of health. So we should be OK. Uh, well, we didn't get the strikes and actually they're making us weaker. Uh, so what we will do is we will just kill you off and just D up and um, take two more health points and it's not going to be a problem. Okay, so, yeah, okay. So, you shuffle your deck. Yeah, thank you for telling me that. Alright, so we can just go ahead and throw these out and finish that off. Alright, we made it! Hey! Six health. We're back to full health. Not too bad. Tip power cards. Okay, got it. I got it. Don't give me all the clues and things. Alright, so now we got to determine what type of game we want to play. Um, I mean, flex is always good. Um, card rotation, card card rotation, stuff like that with, with these, you know, deal some card damage, draw some cards, can be very good as well. Uh, at the end of your turn, deal, lose one HP and deal five damage to all enemies. 
that's probably a bit aggressive. If we had some like stuff that would increase something based on health loss, that might be a good one. I like this one, but since we don't have a way to generate um, more energy, I think we're gonna start with flex because uh, it's always good. I mean, it, it's basically, unless you had too much energy and you couldn't spin out your hand, it's gonna be almost always good. Lose some HP and get two random upgrades. Oh, okay, I think this is a very good thing for us. I mean, it's a couple strikes. Um, we're gonna re remove some of those things, but a couple upgraded strikes this early in the game. It's gonna be pretty helpful. Yeah, there's one right there. Um, in fact, what we can do is we can take this guy out straight up and then just de de defense up for five. Could also just completely mitigate all damage, but no, let's go and get rid of you. And we'll take five points of damage here, which is fine. And we are a little bit low, so we don't want to take too much damage because we would like to heal that back up. But I think we're going to be okay. All right, so here we are. Here's our flex already. And not quite going to have kill damage here, unfortunately. That is unfortunate. So I guess we'll go ahead and defense up and um, only take a couple points. Which is fine. It's not the end of the world. We should be able to kill him this turn. Unless we just get really bad draws. Yeah, we got it. Alright, so he's dead. You know, we're healing a little bit. We're up down 17 HP still. Alright, I don't know that we need two flexes. Um, I do like straight off because it's also a block that gives you a card draw. So I think that one's going to be a pretty good pickup for us. Come up here to the question mark. Oh, lose some gold, gain a relic. Lose shrug it off, gain a relic. We could attack him. You know what? 117 gold for a relic is not that much. It's it's pretty good. We'll go ahead and do that. Pinup is actually pretty decent. Uh, every tenth attack you play deals double damage. If I can remember that it's there, it can actually come in pretty handy. Although I did just we were gonna go to a shop, so maybe that maybe that was a little silly. Anything here that we would have just been like, oh, I wish we could have had that. Not really here. Um, I mean these are fine. And we wouldn't have had enough money for these things anyway. The only thing we would have been able to do is do a card removal, which would have been nice, but I think I'm okay with this. I think we're going to go ahead and go up this route. We can go ahead and upgrade a card. I don't think we need to rest. I mean, if we die this early in the game, we'll just restart. So I don't think we need to rest at this point. Um, we could grab you, get you a little bit more block. You makes three vulnerable, which actually starts making you worthwhile casting. This doubles the flex, though. You know what? I think doubling the flex will probably be the best move here. We're always going to cast flex. We may not always cast the vulnerable thing. So I think that's going to be okay. Uh, these guys are okay, I guess. They're not going to be too bad. Um, let's go ahead and grab the block, get a card. Because I was going to say, if it gives us another strike, then we're in a pretty good spot. So we'll grab the flex. And we're going to take a point of damage. But we're going to be able to put some damage onto one of these guys. I think that's going to be just fine. Trying to get our pin nib going. All right, we're going to get these dazes. They're going to... Some uh, um, unplayable cards that just... They'll go away once they... Uh, if they're still in your hand at the end of the, the hand draw. But they are a little bit annoying before then. Um, we're not going to be able to kill you, are we? We do vulnerable. You're not be able to take vulnerable because you have artifact. So that will negate the vulnerable. Yeah. We probably will need to... Just double block and do some damage at least. We're going to take some damage. It's unfortunate. But we have a campfire right after this if we still feel like we're in a bad place to uh, we need to heal up. Okay. Uh, I think the shrug it off here is still a really good move because if we can get the, let's go ahead, we get the strength draw. That would be amazing. We did not. So we're going to go ahead and take the, get the kill here, which is fine. So at least at this point, we're only going to be taking damage from one of them at any given time. All right, come on. Um, well, we were basically playing out the hand at this point. We'll do the damage here just in case there's a chance. If we get the strength, we might be able to kill him off. And there's a good chance we'll get the strength because there's only seven cards left in our draw pile. And I don't think we've seen it this cycle yet. Nope, we didn't get it. Still got those dazes coming in. We are going to at least be able to not take damage, so that's a good thing right there. Yeah, these dazes are starting to stack up. I was say, we're guaranteed to get the flex now, because I know we had not seen it yet. Uh, we'll go ahead and take the uh, card draw, because we, we don't have enough cards to play out our hand anyway. Well, I guess we are doing 
that. I mean, it's not much, but we're only going to take one point of damage. We are going to get Pinneb next time. And that guy's basically dead for sure. We're taking a little bit more damage than I would have liked here, but it's all right. Oh, okay. Um... But aren't we getting pinned up? Next attack deals double damage, right? Is Bastionary normally eight? I guess it is. That was a little bit of overkill here. We're gonna do double blocking anyway. I'm tempted to just put some damage on this guy. Honestly. You know what? We're completely mitigating this guy's damage. I'd rather not Oh, I mis misplayed that. That was dumb. Okay, I was I was thinking we had I was misthinking. Sorry. <laughs> that happens sometimes if you're not paying attention. Truthfully, what just happened is that I just got done playing some test runs with the Ironclad just to get myself back in it, and I had four energy every time, and I forgot I don't have four energy in this playthrough, so that's really what just happened. Um, so, uh, actually, we play out all... We'll, we'll play out you. Yeah, let's put some damage on this guy. Because... Yeah, that's fine. I mean, we're going to take damage from him either way. I know it's a little silly. I could have already eliminated this guy. But I didn't want to waste the big hit on this guy. If I can help it. Of course, now we're not going to get any attacks. Which is not the end of the world. Because at least we're not taking damage. It does slow it down a little bit, though. I could have, could have sped this up. Probably had it basically done by now. Forgetting the energy thing was... <laughs> a bit annoying. All right, we'll use the unupgraded boost there. We'll put that. We're going to take some damage again, but not a ton. And we're probably going to have to rest on the, on the next uh, campsite, which is fine. I mean, they're there for a reason to rest every once in a while or, or whatever. Okay, we'll definitely do that. Take, finish off the kill. All right, Maw Bank. Whenever you climb a floor, gain 12 gold. No longer works when you spend any gold at a shop. So we'll keep gaining gold until we've actually spent money at a shop. Interesting. Got an energy potion, so we'll give us two energy if we decide to pop that at any point in time. Um, whenever you gain block, deal five damage to random enemy. That's kind of interesting, actually. That is actually kind of interesting. Just, just stick it on there. The powers stay on forever. So, well, for the entire match, you know what I mean. The, 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 the combat, if you will. Um... I still don't think we have the energy for this. This one's going to be a little rough to, to kind of figure out, but if we can get it on there, then we know that every block that we pop is damage. That's interesting. That's interesting. Um, yeah, I think we definitely go the heal, or the heal over here. We could also go this way to get a heal. We'd have to fight a battle first. No, we're just going to take the heal. It's going to be fine. You only rest 30% of your max HP unless you get certain relics, things that change that. Um, so it's only going to get us up to 70, but that's okay. All right, it's really, literally makes no difference here. No, I should have had the other one. Whenever you obtain a curse, increase your max HP by 6. Okay. I'm hoping we don't get any curses, but there might be a time where it's somewhat unavoidable. All right, one of these guys by himself should not be a problem. In fact, we don't even need to shrug it off. We're just going to go ahead and pour in the damage. I mean, if we get our strength boost, he, I don't think he's going to die next turn, but... Yeah, he's not gonna, definitely not going to die next turn. I mean, we'll go ahead and pop it anyway, just to help a little bit. Uh, we'll do, obviously, double defense, because we don't want to take any damage. And there we go. If we can take no damage here, we'll be about to 76 health, which... There you go. That would help feel pretty good. Alright, uh, I mean, there's our Juggernaut, which does start doing damage as we block. Alternatively, we could make him vulnerable and then strike. I think that's lethal, right? Yes, for sure. Definitely. Uh, region potion. Okay, region's nice. Double your block. Add two wounds into your hand. Gain 15 block. Oof, that's rough. Gain 12 block. Whenever you attack this turn, deal... Oh, this is actually pretty good, too, I think. But it's just this turn. And what that means is that... Um, it's just that cycle. Um, it's still good, though. I mean, we're because we're going to be doing damage, 
when we gain block. It's basically gain 12 block and deal 5 damage and also do damage back if they attack you. That's going to be interesting. So we're kind of going a little bit of block tech right here, which is just, it's good. I mean, there, there's some really, really good block tech uh, with the, the um, uh, ironclad. So there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I mean, we're definitely going to pop that just because there's a re no reason not to. But then it really comes down to what do we play now? Um, I'm feeling like double blocking and that this is going to be better overall. Really would like to take this guy out back here. The negative effects from this guy are going to be rough though as well though. All right, we're definitely going to double block I think. Um, yeah, let's just go and start working on this guy back in the back. Even though this guy's got less health, this guy back here is annoying. They're both annoying, what am I saying? <laughs> um, so there's a Juggernaut. Which would allow us to... Oh, that's, uh, that frail is rough. We're probably better off just doing pure damage at this point. No, I mean, I don't know. We could do um, 21 points of damage, which is not going to be enough to kill him. You know what? We're going to do this, and... I think I'm just going to strike plus. I know I'm not actually taking advantage of the block right now, but I'm hoping, you know, next turn it'll it'll come in handy. Maybe that was a little bit of a mistake. Maybe we should have just poured on the damage itself, but... Oh, there's this. We're only taking damage from one thing, though. But it is also 12 block. Uh, the slimed card, if we actually play it, it doesn't do anything, but it just exhausts itself. So, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Um... I mean, this block right here would be enough to mitigate this entirely, and it would still do some damage back to him. So that actually is probably okay. And we'll just keep pouring damage into this guy. So we're going to take no damage, and we're going to do some damage back. It's not a lot. It's something. All right, there's a webbing. Cannot play a taxes run, which is fine, because I think this will still do damage, right? Yeah, so we're fine. Yeah, go ahead and put the thing on there where I can't do dam do attacks. <laughs> See if I care. Well, we won't play a single attack the rest of the, the this match. Why not? I mean, we might as well, but it would be funny. <laughs> Especially now that we got three attacks right here. No, but this is good. Um, we'll use the tin on you, and we'll just kill you guys off. Took a little bit more damage than I might have liked, but we're starting to get our, ro our thing in place. This one's interesting, because this now becomes, if we get the... the th this thing up, the uh, where we do damage back, this becomes gain five block uh, and deal uh, ten damage. So that's actually kind of interesting. I'm actually liking that. That's a that's a that's gonna be cool. Okay, we're definitely gonna go to question mark. Question marks are more often than not good things. Ooh, whetstone. Two random attacks. Okay, fair enough. A couple more upgraded strikes. So now we have four upgraded strikes. Well, a lot of times you want to remove some of your bad stuff at some point, but I mean, getting just a whole bunch of strikes is actually upgraded. It's, it's not bad. Um, I think we smith here. And then if we have to, we'll rest there. Because we should be able to get through the next fight without... With 63 health. That should be fine. So we're going to smith here. Um, what does this become? 16 block, deal 6 damage back. That's pretty good. Juggernaut dealing 7 damage to random... Oh, that's actually... I mean, if we're going to play this, I feel like that, that's really solid. Um... That becomes 7 and 7. That becomes 11 and 1. I mean, all these are pretty good. The Bash, if you're going to keep it, a lot of times you do want to upgrade it so you can get three rounds of Vulnerable. I like this Juggernaut. If we're going to do it, let's go all in on it. Why not? It's very interesting. I've never, I've actually never used Juggernaut. Um, so this is, uh, it's definitely going to be fun. Alrighty. Um, I kind of would like to dip mitigate as much damage as possible so that I can try and get a full heal here and not have to heal at the rest stop. So we're just going to do that. This guy will run away at some point if we don't kill him. Which is a little annoying because he's going to be stealing some gold from us, but... Um... We could pop... Okay, we can definitely pop this because there's no reason not to. We could pop this and do that, which will only give us 5 block. I think I would rather take the uh, 12 block here. And... I mean, there's no reason to do this one now. Let's do that. He's going to take some damage from attacking us, which is fine. All right, he's going to shield up here in a moment. We're not quite there yet. 
We do three strikes, it's 27 damage. Okay, we're good. We've got lethal. Oh, pinned him. Crocked. Got some gold stolen back. Uh, I mean, clothesline can be good. Anger is interesting because, I mean, especially if you can start getting some strength and stuff like that, it's going to start rotating through pretty good. I mean, it's a free attack. If we're playing a lot of blocks, getting some angers thrown in the mix could be useful. Twin strike is good. I mean, this becomes better if you start doing a lot of strength stuff. We're going to try. I, I don't know. Maybe it's the wrong move. I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm 100% convinced on that one. Uh, we're only 11 damage down. I think we're going to try and smith again. If we upgrade anger, it becomes 8 damage. You know, free 8 damage rotated through. It's not half bad. 6 damage back from here. It could be pretty game-changing. Again, if we're going to play this one, getting the three vulnerable is usually pretty good. If we're going to be playing the block stuff, getting the blocks upgraded would be pretty useful as well. But I think we're going to do it. We're going to upgrade Anger. Why not? We got it. We might as well make it as good as it can be. It's a free attack. We'll see what we can do with that. All right. This guy had mode shifts. So if we can do 30 damage to him, he'll go to a kind of a thorn mode. And, and then on and so on and so forth. So, um... Well, flex for sure, which does make this anger really good. So maybe I'm pretty happy that we picked this up and we can actually play out of hand. So we will do that. I don't think there's any specific order that's better than another. Uh, there might have been a better order because of how he did this. I forgot he shielded up. Eh, whatever. I don't think it's not going to matter, but could play our regen. Um, I don't know that we're going to need it. We're going to heal up to full after this fight. Uh, we are going to take damage here. Which is actually presumably a better way of doing damage back to him because of his thorns. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to do this. We'll do damage back to him. And then, even though he's got thorns, we'll do this because that actually, I was going to say, leaves us at 9 block, which is exactly how much he's going to do. So that's going to be pretty good. And he's going to do 4 damage to himself. Perfect. All right, there's our Juggernaut, which I'm kind of liking right here. I'm not, I mean, this is a pretty good chunk of damage right here. And I don't want to do the deal with the thorns, so we're going to grab you. We're going to take some damage here, unfortunately, but it's, it is what it is. Again, we're going to heal the fool after this boss fight, so shouldn't be a problem. All right, now we got to do 40 damage to him. Now, the flex is definitely going to help with that. So this will deal 9 damage. And then it will do even more damage because of the 7 damage here, right? I'm, I'm reading that right? I'm remembering, remembering what that does correctly. Uh, do we want to bash or anything? No, I don't think so. I think we just play these three. Ignore the bash. So this goes here. We'll get some block and then we should do some more damage back, right? Yeah, there we go. Let's go do some damage. Not quite enough damage to shift him, unfortunately. We could pop the energy and do enough damage to shift him. You know what? Uh, yeah, we're going to do that. In that case, we should have played the vulnerable first, but that's okay. We'll shift him over. No sense in... I mean, these potions come and go. There's no sense in holding on to them too long. I don't think the regen's necessary, because I think we're going to be fine. But the other stuff is very good. All right. We're going to take the free attacks here with the, the defense for sure. Now, whether or not we want to use the anger is a different question entirely. We got a lot of health. I think we're going to do, do that since we've got vulnerable. Oh, and we just got the pin nib. Yeah, we're going to definitely gonna do this. 27 damage here. We'll take some damage here, but that's okay. We got a lot of health still remaining. And this guy's almost dead. Uh, I think the flame barrier is a perfect idea. And... Could just take no damage, but honestly, we're still fine on health. So in that case, we're going to do that for sure. And... We actually... No, we're fine. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to be okay. Okay, he's going to do 20 damage here. It's a lot. Don't get me wrong. Um, and the bash would be nice. We could also just block out and be fine. You know what? Let's do that. We're going to block out, do some damage to him as we go. 
but we still have the anger. I'm not going to mode shift him, but we're basically going to take no damage. Two, two points of damage here. And he very likely will die next turn. There we go. Done. I feel like that went fairly well. Um, bludgeon. That's a lot of damage, but yeah, I don't think that's quite what we're looking for. Reaper could be useful. Reaper could be useful. All cards in your hand deal 7 damage for each exhausted card. We're not really doing exhaust deck. I don't think we want bludgeon. Reaper is a little rough, but because it's going to be hard to play sometimes, but it does exhaust itself if we use it, so it's not going to necessarily bloat our deck if we decide to play it at some point. Even if we just... Yeah, I mean, even there's, there's going to be times where... I mean, it's just a little health. I mean, it's just 4 health, basically. 4 health per combat, if we can play it right. Why not? I'm hopeful that we get some uh, energy here, though. Transform, uh, pick three cards, then transform them. Okay. Remove two cards from your deck. That could be useful. One potion, 50 gold. Raise your max HP. Obtain one card, obtain one random card. Or upgrade one random card. <sighs> I don't think the transform is what we want. I mean, what would we transform? Actually, you know what? That might be okay. I'm kind of thinking of transforming the the um, bash. We could transform the unupgraded strike and then maybe one of the blocks, although that does lose one of our blocks, but we'd rather get some of these better blocks anyway. You know what? That's probably fine. It may do give us some stuff that we just don't care about. We could also just obtain a card and, ran and upgrade a random card. Get a little bit of health, gain some gold. I don't know. It's, it's, there's, all of these are kind of pretty random. All right, we're going to transform you. We're going to transform the bash. I just feel like it's not fitting into what we're trying to do anyway. Uh, we'll just do one of the up upgraded blocks. Okay, we got this. That's helpful. Uh, what do we else do we get? Uh, we got Burning Pact. Exhaust a card, draw three cards. Could come in handy. It may just sit there. Who knows? Dual wheel, choose an attack or power card. Add two copies of that card into your hand. Interesting. Especially if we can... I mean, if we got two juggernauts, that'd be interesting. And then the Seeing Red can also help us. If you have Seeing Red at the same time as you have Burning Pack, that actually could come in handy. So, eh, it's fine. All right, Act 2. Well, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in there. And when we come back, we will do Act 2. Uh, so I do appreciate you watching. Uh, please let me know please, if you like this because the likes on the first episode of a series are always, always going to help out the series uh, overall. So if you do like this, please give me some thumbs up. If not, I understand. And uh, hopefully you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye.